So this is a follow-up video to a previous video I did around organizing your notes that you can check out here. And I had a few requests about creating your own templates in Keynote that you could use within Notes. So check out this video to see how you can do that. So let's jump in to this concept. If you haven't seen the video yet, I basically just went through how you can create your own kind of custom note-taking pages within Notes. So all I've done is added in these images. I can now tap on that. And using the Apple Pencil, I've now got these custom kind of backgrounds for creating my own notes and just helping you organize yourself. Um, had a couple of questions around the, the creation of these. Uh, so I thought I'd use this video today to jump into that in a little bit more detail. So I use Keynote for a lot of my design stuff um, and I've basically gone through and designed just a range of different backgrounds. Now, the thing I would say here is the key point is note taking is very personal. So whenever you make a template for something, it's got to be really around what you use. Now, I, I uh, sketch note quite a lot, so I wanted something which was based around grids. Um, I've also thought of some ideas of being an XPE teacher, you know, how I might have done uh, grids around coaching. So I made a couple of sporting ones. Um, equally, if you're doing things just in terms of staying organized um, from a work point of view, just things that, that just might help you just organize your time, mind maps, uh, SWOT analysis, all those sorts of things. These are all just created using just the boxes within Keynote. Now, this one, for example, is kind of an outline of a, a lesson plan. Being a, a teacher, this could be very useful just to get, put your thoughts down. Um, and just use the handwriting recognition um, to, to be able to collate all of that information. This one here, just a roadmap of things that you're trying to complete, how you might just you know put your steps in as you would complete that activity, etc. cetera, um, and, and whatever it might be. Now, the process is pretty simple. If I just tap here on the slide on the side and go to Edit Master Slide, I've just created these as master slides. So even if I accidentally write on top of one, I can just grab another version of that. If I come down here, for example, to the mind map one, I'm just going to duplicate this because I might want a slightly different layout for this mind map. So on the slide over here, these are just all shapes. I can change the size of these shapes, change the placement of these shapes, etc., and just work how I want this to work for me. Now, if I'm starting from scratch here, if I just delete everything on this slide just by simply selecting everything and deleting it, I'll go through the process of creating something. So if you wanted to make your own custom planning document, lesson plans, whatever it might be, just so you've got that place in notes to do this, this is how we would do it. So I'm gonna tap on the plus, go to my basic shapes, choose a square, turn it into something a little bit bigger just so it's more manageable to work with. Tap on the paintbrush, go to style. First thing I'm gonna do is just make this no fill. Go back to style choose border. I'm just going to make this just a size three, just so you can see the borders there. And just for a little bit of style, just add in, add in a border so it, so it looks kind of separate to the page, just to give it some definition. Now, once you've got this on the page, you can adapt this to the size you want this to be, creating, you know, something of a, a space to write in. And then you can just copy these shapes and just paste them and just add as many as you need in whatever layout you need. So depending on what you're trying to create, uh, it could be a storyboard, for example, uh, for a piece of, of uh, video work you're going to do. So actually, let's look at how this might work. So maybe I'll have six, six boxes. And the great thing here is that you're kind of it's it's you being creative to take control of how you want to plan. You know, I know lots of people have notebooks, they'll invest in note taking applications and then they kind of fit their work around the way that the application is designed for them. Um, so this way, it's kind of more thinking about how you want the things to work. You know, how do you kind of best organize yourself uh, in terms of your, your workload and how do you organize those things that you need to do on an everyday basis? Um, and then you just, you create it as you need. So for this example, I know that uh, my son likes to make little videos. It'd be nice for him to have a little, um, storyboard kind of workspace for him to think of his ideas, jot down some pictures, etc. So you see the process is pretty simple. Once you've created kind of one space, you just 
duplicate those spaces. I could probably have done this a lot easier by just copying that first line and duplicating it down here, but you get the end result. So there we go, very, very quickly done, made this. Um, I'm gonna tap over here and then rename this as storyboard. Tap done, and then we've got that. And then when I go back into keyboard, it basically they all exist here. So they exist in my add slides. So if I choose this one now, the storyboard that I just created, let's find that on my screen. There we go, here's that storyboard. And I'm just gonna export this one as an image. Just uh, choose just this slide. I've got the other ones already, oops. Go back into that, export image. Again, just this slide, because I've got the other ones already, so I don't wanna duplicate these on my device. Tap export, that's gonna save as an image. If I then jump into my notes, uh, I can start a new note here. Go to the camera, go to choose photo. That last one should be on the screen here. There we go, tap add. There we go, here's that note ready to go on my note page. If I tap on the note itself, I've got my drawing tools. I can now draw in here and start to sketch out what my story might be around my text in etc so a really really quick and easy way to do that um, creating your own templates using it in notes and then as you can see it helps you just collate all of those notes in one place so combining the power of keynote and the power of notes in one space to help keep you organized mm -hmm.